tell me, though, what happened out there tonight? The defense was strong. I couldn't really get the drinks flowing like I needed to. Didn't also help that uh, one of my, my wingmen, he uh, got called out the game early. I was working with the secondary team, and, you know, there's a lot of selfish play, you know? You know, they, it was her homegirl's birthday, and uh, they definitely was on that. Uh, we came together, we leaving together tip, so. I asked her, to, you know, repeatedly, hey, would you like to go home? And she started with the, I don't know, you like that. Baby mama actually showed up at the club. Yes! Yeah, I saw him, I saw him and his ex over there with the baby mom. They had him in the trap. He was nowhere he could go. Everybody was playing for themselves tonight. Nobody was looking out. Everybody was, they started trying to approach with the double team, which was too aggressive. Double team? I was already over there when he came over there in the first place. Double team. We didn't play how we practiced. We had practiced it in the car over and over again. We got separated, that, that didn't help either. Then ultimately I got charged up by somebody that said, I was talking to that girl, which was, was uncomfortable for me. Two dope boys came in there and they, they had the bottles flowing to their section. All the lights was going that way. You know, I'm buying drinks one at a time, no bottles. Bottles going other places, attention going other places. I noticed you guys during happy hour earlier did, uh... Wait, happy hour? I thought we were just talking about this game, you know? We're talking about the club, not happy hour. You know, this, this, nobody cares about happy hour. Unless you close during happy hour, happy hour doesn't really matter. But I don't, I, I, I wouldn't expect you to know that. <sighs> One thing you learn about being in a slump is you got to learn how to get back. We was kind of taking those losses and staying in them too long and then trying to keep calling, keep texting. She wasn't going for it. Her homegirl ended up passing out in the bathroom, which kind of we thought was going to be a, a big play for us. But in the turn, they ended up kind of watching her the whole night. So it just took them off the floor. You know, I saw on Instagram, I'm walking in the steps of the Lord. So definitely she's on a spiritual empowerment. She's probably trying to get over those two times she was took to the hole last week by those guys that didn't really know her that well, which is never really a good sign for closing. Billy, what do you think the uh, turning point for you guys was tonight? Crazy enough, while, while I'm in there, they call my car and say that it's in the way of getting told. And then it didn't really help that, you know, somebody knew it was my car and you know, when they stopped the music of the club to say, hey, with the owner of a Dodge Neon license plate number 43179, come outside. Billy, I think that's you. Boom. Trophies. You know, new song. Yeah. They shook me up. Hey, hit records Snow. on my demo. Did y'all boys not get the memo? First of all, he ain't even got real chairs in this car. You know what he got in this car? He got lawn chairs. This car, this car is ridiculous. He got black and white TVs in the headrest. <laughs> <laughs> he don't have no light. You know how most cars you can lock it. He got a latch on it. You know how them project doors, them screen doors, he got a latch. You drop down in a hole on it. So what am I supposed to do? I, the girls is laughing at me at this point in time. They, you got a neon? You drive a neon? License plate number 43179. Come outside. Billy, I think that's you. <laughs> I can't help it. <laughs>